Do you have this top 10 ultra rare most valuable Washington quarter dollars to look for your pocket change for more than a millions dollar, even if your Washington quarter dollars don't help to you retire early they could be worth more than big value. Coin valuation depends on several factors including rarity. The 1984 P Washington quarter is a common coin from the Philadelphia Mint, produced in large numbers. Its value in circulated condition is typically only face value, but higher grade uncirculated coins and certain errors can attract interest among collectors. History and background, mint mark and composition, the P mint mark on the 1984 quarter indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. This quarter, like all regular issue quarters from 1965 onward, is made from a copper nickel clad composition, with a copper core and an outer layer of 75% copper and 25% nickel. Value, the 1984 P. Washington quarter generally holds little additional value beyond face value unless it is in uncirculated condition or has a notable error. Circulated grades, in circulated condition, the 1984 P. quarter is typically worth only its face value of 25 cents due to its high mintage and availability. Uncirculated grades, mint state MS-65 and above, in mint state, MS-65, a 1984 P quarter may be worth between $5 and $10. Higher grades like MS67 or MS68 are scarcer and can fetch values around $100 to $200 or more, as pristine examples are harder to find. Error coins, common errors, some 1984 P quarters with mint errors, such as off-center strikes, die cracks, and double dies, are more valuable. Error coins can range in value from around $100 for minor errors to several thousand dollars for rarer or more significant errors. Notable errors, double die errors, where the design appears doubled, or coins struck on an incorrect planchet, such as a dime planchet, are among the most valuable errors. These types of errors can be worth $2,200 or more depending on their rarity and the extent of the error. Collectability, the 1984 P quarter is commonly collected in high uncirculated grades or with unique errors. While circulated quarters hold little extra value, uncirculated examples, especially those in higher mint state grades or with visible errors, attract collectors looking to complete sets or add specific error varieties. The 1983 P Washington quarter is a notable issue in the Washington quarter series due to its relative scarcity in high grades and uncirculated condition. Many 1983 quarters were heavily circulated, and relatively few were saved in mint condition, making well-preserved examples more valuable than other quarters from around the same time. History and background, mint mark and composition, the P mint mark signifies that this quarter was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Like all post-1964 quarters, it has a copper nickel clad composition with a pure copper core. Value, the 1983 P. Washington quarter is often worth more than face value, particularly in uncirculated and high-grade mint state, MS, conditions. Its value varies based on grade and condition, circulated grades, in circulated condition, the 1983 P. quarter is typically worth only face value, 25 cents. Uncirculated grades, mint state MS-65 and above, in MS-65 condition, 1983 P quarters are valued between $50 and $100 due to their scarcity in high grades. Higher grades like MS-67 or above are rarer and can be worth $200 or more. MS-68, coins in exceptional condition, such as MS-68, are very scarce and can command several hundred dollars or more at auction due to the challenge of finding such a well-preserved example. Error coins, common errors, some 1983 P quarters exhibit errors such as off-center strikes, die cracks, or even doubling, where parts of the design appear doubled due to a minting error. Error coins can range from around $100 to several thousand dollars, depending on the rarity and clarity of the error. Notable error, a popular error among 1983 quarters is the double die, which shows noticeable doubling on parts of the lettering or the date. Double dies can be worth hundreds of dollars depending on their visibility and condition. Collectability, the 1983 P quarter is highly collectible, especially in high-grade uncirculated conditions, due to its scarcity in such states. Collectors value it both as a key date within the modern Washington quarter series and for its potential error varieties. It's a desirable addition for those completing sets of quarters from the 1980s or those looking for unique. The 1976 Bicentennial Quarter, issued to commemorate the 200th anniversary of American independence, is one of the most iconic quarters in U.S. history. It was part of a series of bicentennial coins, including the half dollar and dollar, all bearing unique reverse designs for the occasion. 
History and Background, Mintmark and Composition, the 1976 Bicentennial Quarter was minted at the Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, Denver, D. Mint Mark, and San Francisco, both clad and silver versions, mints. Most Bicentennial Quarters were copper nickel clad, but San Francisco also produced special 40% silver quarters for collectors. Value the value of a 1976 bicentennial quarter depends on its condition, mint mark, and whether it's a clad or silver version. Circulated grades, in circulated condition, most bicentennial quarters are worth face value, 25 cents, given their large mintage. Uncirculated grades, mint state MS65 and above, a standard clad bicentennial quarter in uncirculated MS65 condition can range between $5 and $10, with values potentially higher for coins graded MS67 or above. Silver versions, the 40% silver bicentennial quarters from San Francisco, included in special collector sets, hold intrinsic silver value, making them generally worth $5 to $10 or more, depending on the current silver price and condition. Proof versions, San Francisco also produced proof versions of the Bicentennial Quarter in both clad and 40% silver for collectors. These proof coins, especially in high grades, can range from $5 to $100 for the clad proofs and $100 to $200 for silver proofs. Error coins, common errors, some Bicentennial Quarters have notable errors, such as double dies, off-center strikes, and die cracks. Error values vary widely but can range from $500 to several $5,000, depending on the error's rarity and visibility. Collectability, the Bicentennial Quarter is highly collectible due to its historical significance and unique design. While circulated examples are common, uncirculated coins in high grades, silver varieties, and error coins are sought after by collectors. The 1973 Washington Quarter, minted in both Philadelphia, No Mint Mark, and Denver, D. Mint Mark is a copper nickel clad coin that is generally common, with little extra value in circulated condition. However, high grade uncirculated examples and certain errors can attract collector interest. History and background Mint Mark and composition The 1973 quarter is composed of a copper nickel clad, with a core of pure copper and outer layers of copper nickel alloy. This composition was introduced in 1965 to replace the 90% silver quarters. Value, the value of a 1973 Washington quarter depends largely on its condition, with circulated coins generally worth only face value unless they possess specific errors or are in exceptional condition. Circulated grades, in circulated condition, 1973 quarters from either mint are worth only face value, 25 cents, due to their high availability. Uncirculated grades, mint state MS65 and above, in uncirculated mint state, MS65, a 1973 quarter may be valued around $10 to $20. Higher grades like MS66 or MS67 can be worth between $20 and $100, with MS67 examples being particularly desirable and sometimes reaching $500 or more. Error coins, common errors, some 1973 quarters display minting errors such as off-center strikes, die cracks, or double dies. Minor errors can increase a quarter's value to around $200 to $500, while significant errors, such as a prominent double die, can fetch several hundred dollars, depending on visibility and severity. Notable errors, the most sought-after errors on 1973 quarters are generally noticeable die varieties, like double dies, or dramatic striking issues. Collectability the 1973 Washington Quarter is widely collected in high-grade uncirculated conditions, particularly by those completing sets of Washington Quarters from the copper nickel clad era. Due to the high mintage, circulated 1973 Quarters have limited appeal to collectors, while uncirculated coins in higher grades and error coins are much more desirable. The 1969 D. Washington Quarter, struck at the Denver Mint, is a common coin in the Washington Quarter series. Like other quarters minted after 1964, it's made from a copper nickel clad composition. In general, circulated 1969D quarters are worth their face value, but uncirculated coins and error varieties can attract collector interest. History and background, mint mark and composition, the D mint mark indicates the coin was produced at the Denver Mint. The coin is composed of a copper nickel clad, with an inner core of pure copper and outer layers of copper nickel alloy. Value, the value of a 1969D Washington quarter varies based on its condition, with higher grade coins and certain error varieties fetching more in the collector market. Circulated grades, 
In circulated condition, 1969D quarters are generally worth only face value, 25 cents, due to their high mintage and widespread availability. Uncirculated grades, mint state MS65 and above, in uncirculated mint state, MS65, condition, a 1969D quarter may be valued between $5 and $10. Higher grades like MS66 can be worth around $25 to $100, while MS67 coins can be valued at $200 or more. The scarcity of high-grade examples in top condition drives the value. Error coins, common errors, some 1969D quarters feature errors such as off-center strikes, die cracks, and double dies. Minor errors can increase a quarter's value by $200 to $500, while significant errors, like a clear double die, could be valued at several hundred dollars, depending on the error's visibility and severity. Notable error types, the most valuable errors would include double dies on the date or lettering and dramatic striking errors, which are sought after by collectors. Collectability, the 1969D quarter is most desirable in uncirculated, high-grade conditions, or with rare errors. Many collectors looking to complete Washington quarter sets seek high-grade examples, and error collectors are often interested in unusual minting anomalies from this period.